Hey, uh, Christopher Hogue is joining us on the phone right now, uh, Chief of Media over at Fort Hood. Uh, uh, could you tell us, uh, Christopher Hogue, what, what else we, we're we learning right now about this incident? I printed this. this is, hello, this is uh, Chris Hogue. Yes, sir. Uh, at 3.50 today, we have two apprehend two sh one shooter was killed, two apprehended. Uh, when you say two apprehended, are, are these individuals that who were apprehended United States soldiers? They are, sir. And uh, they were shooting as well? We have, uh, all that we've been told is they are suspected to be involved with the incident. But do you know if they opened up fire? The only one that we know for sure that opened fire was killed. He had two handguns. Two handguns. And who killed him? The uh, emergency personnel at the scene. They came to the scene. And, and in terms of uh, American soldiers killed and injured, what numbers do you have? We have uh, confirmed 12 dead and 31 wounded. Does the 12 dead include the soldier who was uh, opened fire? Yes. So there are 11 individuals shot by this soldier uh, and 31 wounded right now. The extent of the uh, injuries, the wounded, are some of them critical? Do you know anything about that? We had reports that two were in serious condition. The wounded are spread throughout the area at three different hospitals, depending on the severity of their injury. The two other alleged shooters who are suspects and have been apprehended, are, are, were they wounded or have they been shot? I, w I don't have any information on whether they were shot or wounded. And you know for sure that these were uh, the three alleged shooters were all uh, active duty members of the United States military. They weren't just pretending or impersonating U.S. military personnel? W sir, we were told that they were soldiers. They were soldiers. Uh, 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 is there any information about a motive? Uh, did they say anything? That we have no information on motive or anything like that. So that's what you're watching right now. Uh, and where, where, where are they uh, being held, do you know, the two, the two suspects? I do not know where they're being held at this time. All right, uh, so we'll, uh, we'll stay in touch with you. Anything else you, you can share with us, uh, uh, Chris? Uh, Wolf, I think you have just about everything. Um, I mean, we, our hearts and minds go out to the families of those that have lost their, uh, their loved ones today. This is a tragic situation at Fort Hood, and emergency personnel, of course, have uh, responded in, in great detail. You know the post is still in lockdown. We are not letting anyone on or off post to ensure that this situation is concluded with a minimal risk. Do we, do we believe the situation has now been concluded, it's over? Lieutenant General Bob Cohn, the three-court and Fort Hood commander, said at his pre press briefing that they are assessing the situation right now to determine if the situation has been concluded. So out of an abundance of caution, they're not removing the lockdown or anything. They're, they want to make sure there's nobody at large, is that right? Yes, well, if that's correct, we want to make sure we have uh, concluded this situation uh, with a minimal amount of risk. Okay, uh, we'll stay in close touch with you, Christopher Hug, uh, uh, the chief of media at Fort Hood.